All right, everyone, welcome back to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video with Fat Phil. And today, I want to give you guys five tips, tricks, ways to improve your Grand Arena scoring, improve your Grand Arena, you know, win loss ratio without having to invest additional relics, gear, mods into your account. So please, guys, like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. We're going to get into our video here. And just want to say thank you guys for your continued support. All right, so uh, we're going to be flipping back and forth between my recent Grand Arena live stream I did as at the time of recording as of last night, and then kind of flip back over to the game here as well and talk through some of these tips and tricks to help you improve your Grand Arena experience. Because some things I think we players don't realize that you can win more grand arenas without having to put additional work into your account as long as you're doing some things along the way to help you out so the first one that i'm going to mention comes from my a good friend of mine named house of cards if you guys remember he actually did a live stream uh grand arena we did a head-to-head -head. he completely cleaned my clock but and he gave me this little piece of advice that i thought was amazing and he said when i what i do is when i check out my opponent's history i don't just look at their battles that they did but I look at, have they won a lot of battles? Have they won a lot of bat? Have they lost a lot? And who did they win or lose against? So we're going to flip over to uh, StarWarsGalaxyFears.gg here. And I pulled up my Grand Arena history for two of my opponents. So the first one I did was um, Tenacious M. So my opponent here, when you look, they were on a massive win streak at the time that they had faced me. They were on a big win streak at the time they had faced me. And so when I went to their Grand Arena history, I saw that their last round, they won three in a row, but that their opponents did, okay, this guy did a dump. I mean, this is not a smart battle to do against Leia, right? But when you look at that, when you look at that player's account, right, they had 10.4 million. So they had a decent account, um, but they just did a silly fight and it cost them. So like that, that gave me some confidence. Okay. Like that's, that's good. Then you go to the next round, and again, another player who did a very similar thing lost a battle against this guy's Leia. So, again, me kind of looking at this saying, all right, so there's two battles in a row where players who may be a little bit lower than this guy, like, did not fully utilize, you know, just did one battle, lost, and stopped. And then the final battle against Star-Lord here, the guy did Sith Eternal against JML and then did nothing else. So, the three wins this person had to get to Kyber 1 were not really quality wins. So that gave me some confidence going in that this player, while still a, a solid player to get into Kyber 1, kind of got boosted here based on their matchmaking, right? And then we go to Jivax, who is my opponent that you guys will see in some of the footage here. Very, very solid player. Um, again, also on a win streak as well. But, um, oops, wrong thing here. When you go to the history there was a bit more of a, you know, you see like this guy here with only less than 10 million galactic power was one of his wins. And I'm not bashing Jivax. Like this tells you, yeah, he faced somebody with a low GP, but he scored 2073, which is a really solid score. Then um, lost this grand arena. So that loss tells me, hey, you know, this player probably has, um, you know, like is probably a solid account, 11.9. So, you know, that made you know, that one makes sense. And then uh, beat this opponent here with 10.2. So again, lost the battle that they should have, that they probably should have lost and then won the battles that they should have won with really good scores. So that kind of history let me know this was a, an opponent I had to take seriously compared to where I'd say Tenacious M. I was a bit more like, eh, I don't really think that you're really gonna put up enough of an, a fight here because, um your wins tell me that people were just not taking grand arena seriously so that was a really good piece of advice of don't just check the battles but check the quality of their opponent so house of cards thank you so much for that i thought that was so important to share next play your game wombat i'm looking at you for always no, i'm kidding uh now wombat redeemed himself i just love to give him crap because wombat he knows his importance to me like wombat's my guy um but Sometimes I've made this mistake. I've watched other players make this mistake. And I want to give a shout out to Nooch for this section as well. He kind of inspired me to think of this one. So uh, let me go to Nooch's stream. When The other day, Nooch was streaming. He was in Kyber 2. 
facing an opponent with far more galactic power than him, and it was coming down to banners. Like, Nooch just had to get a ton of banners on all of his fights. So he's making all these really good decisions, and it comes down to his final fleet battle. It was a negotiator against the resistance fleet. And everybody was kind of throwing in their two cents, and I was kind of saying what I would do. And um, it was really about who should be starting, whether it was Fives or Ahsoka, was kind of where all of us were like, eh, which one of these, you know, do you start? I was trying to convince him to use Ahsoka. Uh, he felt more comfortable using Fives, and he used Fives. So he didn't listen to me, and he won. We don't know if Ahsoka would have worked or not, but we know that Fives did, and the reason Fives did is because he played his game. He understood how to use that fleet, how to do that counter, that it was what he was comfortable with. So often you see players make the mistake of trying to do something that Arnold does, or Fat Phil, or even Nooch, that we pull these things off that we are comfortable and confident doing. So play your game. Don't worry about what everybody else does. If you feel like you can do it, you know, I'm going to use Darth Bane to beat Leia because that's what I'm comfortable doing, do it. Um, you know, and that kind of leads me into the next point too of reviewing your defense. So I had this huge blunder and I'm going to, um, flip over to my grand arena stream to show you guys this. Cause this was just so funny. So, um, I got to the back wall here and I realized I was like, I don't have Leia. Like I completely was relying on having Leia to be able to beat either Jabba or this Ray team. And I didn't. And I sat here for, I mean, a long time and was like, I don't have Leia. And so it took me forever to kind of come up with what I was supposed to do because I didn't review my defense. I forgot that in my, um, you know, previous round here, I'd forgotten that what I had done was set Leia on defense because my opponent had seven Galactic Legends instead of eight. So I was trying to... Um, you know, like I did like the Arnold defense. I, I call it the Arnold defense, right? Where I set a bit more than I normally do. But I set Leia and kind of forgot that I didn't have her for offense. And so I was attacking um, Jivax here like I had Leia and I did not. And so that could have cost me the Grand Arena. Fortunately, we were able to recover, which we'll get into that a little bit. But you've got to review your defense. Did you actually, like if you set, you know, I set Leia and I completely forgot about it. And now Leia got me holds here, so, like, she did her job, and that's good. But that could have really cost me the Grand Arena, because a lot of my offense is stationed around the fact that I've got a bunch of GLs that I can utilize to clear higher, so I don't have to pull off as higher risk battles. So, review your defense between, you know, rounds. Just make sure that you're confident with it, right? You know, if you're changing it around. Next, don't take unnecessary risks. So, um there's some risks that are necessary and i'm gonna we'll flip over to youtube here in a second to kind of show you some footage from that gac of a necessary risk but um one of the things that i was doing right and i you guys can see like my you know face covering here but um i couldn't figure out how to attack ray jabba and leia and part of me was wondering against ray if i use seer malakos and kylo ren unmasked and it only had like a 13 percent win rate it did not have a good win rate, and I was like, man, I don't know what I should do. I don't know how confident to be here. Um, and so I was trying to figure out, like, what to do. And so I was like, what battle do I do first? And this was another thing about an unnecessary risk that, for in my mind, the smartest thing to do was first do the battle that I felt was the riskiest, which to me was Ray. So I do want to share the Ray fight because it was pretty cool here. So we're going to go up here. So we chose Bane and Sith Empire Trooper with Bane's Kron. I chose Sith Empire Trooper because I wanted Bane to be able to... I wanted Sith Empire Trooper to eat up some Sudden Whirlwind. I did not want um, Bane to have to eat multiple Sudden Whirlwinds and all that stuff. So uh, here is the Bane fight. I just want to share this because this, again, this was a very... I want to say scary fight, but it definitely was one I wasn't 100% confident in. So... Um, I let off with this attack because I wanted to gain stacks of Siphon because I wanted to be able to boost my max health right away. So you guys will see here, we're going to ramp our max health immediately. So we're going to go ahead, do that, do some attacks here. Again, we're just trying to, you know, do what we can. So there goes the Sudden Whirlwind. And then, um, yeah, now it's just 
I'm going to ramp my max health again. Like, I'm just trying to keep my max health going. Um, and then look at that. I mean, that was an insane shot from Sith Trooper. That was 300,000 damage from Sith Trooper there, which is actually absurd. And then again, we're just going to continue ramping this max health. But again, this all goes back to that playing game and unnecessary risks that to me, this was the one risk I felt comfortable taking. So yeah, Bane at this point had ramped a lot. And I probably made some misplays here where like, I realized I just need to basic Ben at this point to like keep him from reviving. And then, yeah, did the same thing with Ray here, and there was that fight. But that was a big one for me, right? That right there was a, like, a very good decision on my end. And then there was the Jabba team and the Leia team, and I used other, you know, I used JML against Jabba, and I used SLKR against Leia. But that all comes back to, like, the unnecessary risk that I knew that trying to use something like Terran Malakos without Starkiller against Rey, which just an unnecessary risk. I had teams to be able to clear her. So if you can avoid taking unnecessary risks, please do it. Finally, two shot to victory. So one of the most important uh, skills to have in this game is math. Knowing how to use math in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes is one of the most important things you can do. Not just in terms of how, how to farm or what's the best bang for your buck in purchasing or this or that. No, Grand Arena scoring with math is so important because oftentimes you need to be able to understand the way that all those banners can calculate and that sometimes just clearing is enough to win. So when, and especially with fleets, I think this is one where there's a lot of times where one of the best tactics you can do is go up against a fleet and send in just a garbage one. I used to do this against negotiators and executors all the time. You send in like Mace Windu with three garbage ships. Eat up the initial AoEs. Eat up the initial specials from that fleet. And then go in with your other fleet that maybe isn't as good, right? But still is going to get the job done and clean that fleet up. That sometimes two-shotting or three-shotting to victory is a very, very good strategy. And can completely change your Grand Arena. Because one of the things I've seen a lot. I've had plenty of players who have lost Grand Arenas against me because they tried to one-shot a fleet that they didn't need to one-shot, that they could two-shot it. And a big example of this is Leviathan right now. I know that Chimera and, um, you know, the, like, Chimera and, um, what's the other one? Let me go here. Hold on. Like, I know Chimera is an easy, uh, I almost say easy, but it's a one-shot. Same thing with Profundity. They're both, like, one-shot victories against the leviathan my negotiator i normally find it's a two-shot win for me but i get to nuke out the sith assassin so the two shot to victory here was i don't want to potentially ruin my chances of a full clear and give my opponent the opportunity to to snipe me out on a win simply by full clearing after i've done all this great work on ground battles i'm gonna throw it away trying to get cocky in fleets so I wanted to do the two shot here knowing that I could immediately snipe out their Sith Assassin. And so you guys will see here, um, because with the Profundity Fleet and the, um, the Empire Fleet, you might not always get to Sith Assassin. We're here, we can just nuke out Sith Assassin immediately, and now I've got a much easier cleanup if I need it. So that was kind of why I did that. Um, so I just, you know, again, you guys will see here, um, what ends up happening is if we come here, it comes down to, you know, basically the, you know, Sith Empire Trooper and, um, you know, the Maul. So we lose this, but we killed the vast majority of their fleet. And now I'll be able to clean that, that fleet up. So that's kind of why I chose to do it that way was my thought process again was, what can I do? Like, I knew I could clean it up with something, but I was like, I'll save it till the end. Let's see what we need to do to get through everything else. So every time you can, please, guys, don't be afraid to two-shot the victory. Does it look as cool as one-shotting? No, but you will win more grand arenas if you recognize those opportunities when you can two-shot rather than one-shot. So that's the end of the video, guys. Let me know your thoughts down below. Again, like, subscribe, comment. I love you all. May the force be with you, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers, my friends.